right here and this is from the Flash Kickstarter. Obviously it didn't come like this, I uh, cut it out because I have an address on it. So, yes, this was, um, I guess the order for the uh, time thing, uh, backer kit was thing, um, up was the uh, 3rd of October last year. It's been a while because it's the uh, 27th of March 24. This is 23. Anyway, so this is the. I initially got the smaller one, a place for the smaller one, but then in the back of the kit they came out with the new one, which was longer, which was easier to hold by the looks of it. So I upgraded to that one. It says Slash Max Titanium. So here it is the cardboard box. Here it is. It's quite weighty as well. It's got a little hole so you can put it on the thing. Got a cap that I can't seem to open. No, oh, that's why. I was trying to pull it and it's a twist. Very sharp. I need an in right. Can't quite remember what it said. Something about well, it's titanium with a uh, non-rust, non-dull, so you won't have to sharpen it ever. Kind of like so. Um, I guess I'll just I don't know. I'll just cut a tiny bit off, off here. I don't know which way this one goes, but I guess it's this way. Hmm. Is it not that way? It's making decisions. It's not cutting the through. Um, I guess I need to. Well, I did it for that. So I mean, I can cut. I'm even doing it in frames. I don't really look sometimes. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> so I slightly cut into my last one too. Well, anyway. So I guess I'd, uh, I suggest we use a, uh, a cutting mat for this, I guess. Let's see if an actual cut I use. Let's just do this. See if it will, if it will cut properly. Hmm. This is a complete. Well, let me just this way. I'm not even showing, but well, it's sort of cut. Yeah. 
But anyway, this one is a is good for packaging as well, you know? To open it, I don't think. So there's it. Nothing other to test it on. Yes, these boxes are open. That was oh, very open. So anyway, I mean it's nifty. It's got a hole here for. Um, got like a keyboard or something on. This actually... Well, this is copy paper that I cut real easily. The other one was 200 GSM. So I'm not sure if it would really be good for using as a craft knife. Even though it's supposed to be... Kind of good enough for it. I'll have to recheck. But, well, I got some plastic as part of the packaging. So let's just slice a little bit off. See? I don't know. Let's just slice a tiny bit off. That was very light, so maybe I need to go dark harder? Yeah. Okay. Packaging. I kind of this plastic and packaging is cut fine. I can poke the cardboard. It doesn't seem like I can really cut it well. Hmm. For some reason, I envisioned it to be sharper. At least to cut through cardboard, at least. I'll have to recheck. But I guess it's mainly opening letters and packaging. So it would be better to cut through tape, I guess. Maybe. Well, I'm just gonna this out of the way. It's very weighty by the sound of it. Anyway. And, um, let's see, well, let me just get this trash out of the way. Anyway, there's not really much else to say, really. Cut through bubble wrap this one. Screw 
which is kind of annoying me, but I don't look at it and think about it, which would be fun. Uh, I should have just used a something cutting mat to cut on top of, but no, I didn't actually think about that. I didn't have to I made slight cuts. But anyway. It's not that prominent, so I guess it's fine. But yes, you can cut through. Well, that's fine. Okay. Comes in a little nice little foamy kind of pad here. Makes it look all posh. Anyway, yes. That's it. This carry smaller, cut sharper. It doesn't actually feel as sharp as I expected it to be though. It's uh, by M and K, which is now borrowcane.com. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I don't know, I'm slightly disappointed, it's not as sharp as I thought it would be. But, um... So I was going to, you know, place this with... Uh, use this to replace with my... Um... Exacto knife. But I'm not sure if it will really... Cut what I need. Since I didn't cut the, uh, 200 GSM, which... Maybe it's 200 plus that I'm kind of using right now. But we'll see. It's a good thing I got a paper trimmer done. Or something else, so I... Well, we'll see, won't we? But yes, that's... It is. So I guess I'll put it on... That little blade... thing. Um, yes, I'll put it right in the middle. Oh. A blade, uh, kind of bulky chain here. So you got my paper, white blades, oil blades, got my... That's a word. Mini perforating blade. And here's my straight one, I guess. So I got all my little blades on a little ball keychain. I won't use them. But yes. Plus it comes with a cap. But to be honest, I'm slightly disappointed considering it what was the total? The the mini one was nineteen and I had to add an extra nineteen for this longer handle one. Anyway, it's, it's, I think total is 30 something, I think. Anyway, is it worth it? At least from like what paper I cut so far and, and plastic? Not that much really, unfortunately. But well, maybe it will get better when I find something to cut with it. Better, I don't know. When I get my uh, next package, I'll open it with this and see if it cuts the tape better than it does paper. We'll see. But yes, that's kind of disappointing. 
So let's be optimistic, shall we? Hopefully, maybe. Yes. So, thank you for watching. Over and out.